Mobilization is going badly not only in Ukraine, but also for the Russians. The first clashes between the Ukrainian armed forces and the North Korean military have already taken place at the front. Yunayan media outlet asked whether Russia's other partners are ready to reinforce it with cannon fodder. Recently, Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustem Umarov said that the Ukrainian Defense Forces have already clashed with the DPRK military at the front. And although these clashes were small-scale, overall the situation is an unpleasant wake-up call. In particular, NATO's Secretary General Mark Rutte spoke about this earlier, noting that the North Korean troops that are currently fighting on the side of Russia against Ukraine pose a threat to global security. After all, in his opinion, the DPRK's participation in the war would mark the beginning of a much darker phase of a long conflict. The fact is that former U.S. State Department official David Tafuri said even before the presidential race ended that three more countries were ready to send their troops to the war in Ukraine. In his opinion, this would be Iran, Syria, and even China. Even if we do not take into account that Tafuri is just a former official who hardly has current intelligence data and only gives out his thoughts without specifics, the presence of foreigners in the Russian troops is an open secret. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, citizens of Cuba, Somalia, Nepal, Syria, Serbia, India, China, various African countries and the like have been spotted in the ranks of the aggressor. If we are talking about military advisors and instructors, then they have been fighting on the side of Russia, to put it mildly, for more than one day, more than one month, and more than one year, notes military analyst and ATO veteran Yevgeny Diki. Let me remind you that Iran sent not only shaheds to Russia, but also instructors from the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, who taught Russians how to launch these shaheds directly in combat conditions. That is, the first such UAVs were launched into our cities by Iranian hands, not Russian. And when this training was completed, an assembly line for these shaheds was set up in the Russian Alabuga. And there, again, Iranian engineers were involved. According to him, when North Korea had not yet started trading cannon fodder, but had already begun supplying its ballistic missiles, their crews arrived in the Russian Federation along with these ballistic missiles. At the very least, they launched these missiles at our cities together with the Russians. And most likely, they even did it instead of the Russians. Giant diesel tanks caught fire Saturday in a residential Beirut neighborhood burning more than a dozen cars in a parking lot and damaging a building nearby. Firefighters and civilians tried to extinguish giant flames. A local paramedic at the scene said no one was hurt in the fire that spread quickly. The fire in Beirut's commercial Hamra district came amid an ongoing Israel-Hezbollah war and after a night of airstrikes by Israel's air force on Beirut's southern suburbs. Lebanon has been witnessing long hours of power cuts by the state's electricity company and most people rely on private neighborhood generators despite the dangers of storing fuel in heavily populated residential areas. Let's go. 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 Let's go.